Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're at an old medieval church here in Care Town in Tipperary. Um, it's an interesting church behind us in ruins now, but it was last used in 1820. So come on, there's some beautiful headstones in here. So let's take a look. So this is the church, the medieval ruins of a church, as I said, last used around the 1820s. Now, before I bring it in there, I've just noticed this. I wonder what this was. It's like, um, I don't know, actually. Is it a, there's a, that's kind of strange, isn't it? It's like a hole there. Well, that is strange. It was hardly a crypt or a vault or something, although it does give that kind of look to it. Let's see if I can get down a bit nearer. Oh. Gosh, there is... Stone slab there. Yeah, it's cemented Stone. up. It's so it definitely was. Maybe the stairs went down in under that. And they've uh, cemented it all up. Wow, that's kind of... That's strange, isn't it? I think all of this area here that we're standing in now was possibly the entrance down into it. Wow. Right. So let's get back on the path. So just in this glass casing... There's a beautiful statue of a lady. That is gorgeous, look at that. Might not see it with the light. It's kind of reflecting there. That is beautiful. Now, what's interesting about this church is that there was once a dividing curtain wall which um, let Catholics and Protestants to have mass at the same time but still be separated so I've never heard anything like that it's called a curtain wall look at the rails on that one wow that's jeepers there's a huge hole in there as well so some of the areas whoa that goes right down it's kind of I know there's some leaves there as well that goes down maybe 15 foot or so. So that is obviously a tomb there. A huge hole in it, all covered in that lovely ivy. But obviously ivy will destroy. We have a lot of um, rails. So this would have been a railed area. Maybe another tomb or a, maybe a crypt. It's hard to know now at this stage. Yeah, for just that one there. The because a lot of people do ask about those chest tombs, are the bodies buried inside, inside or down? The chest tombs. That's just an example. Yeah. To show you that they're actually down. Right down. down. There's actually writing there. Memory of John O'Brien, it looks like. Something from childhood. Something of this parish. Annual. And in hability, is it? I don't know. This parish died April the 6th. From uh, childhood? 18, 20 something. Aged, looks like 30 something there. 36 wow. years old. Wow, is there, a there is a name there, but it's quite hard to read. It looks like John, and I think it's John O'Brien, but it says from childhood. And John then Breen, is it? O'Brien. Or, or, sorry, O'Brien. O'Brien. Yeah. But it says some from childhood and then that word next to it is quite hard to read but interesting to see that from childhood wow look at that there's something wrote or was there something wrote in that maybe no it's on you i wonder was that a vault as well maybe do you know we've seen those before where it has wrote the name the family name on it um and then they go under these beautiful tombs Lots of decorations on the side, but 
you can see as well it's falling apart there is some sort of writing on top but with the it just you can't Those types fade away. very very fast i think it's because they're kind of um facing the elements um not really sure what this was would it have been the altar i think it could have been the altar yeah. it's very big and it's kind of at the door so i'm not sure whether it was the altar the altar would be up near the top of the church so it? yeah at the window um we've three tombs in here so i'm guessing these are all the one family we won't be able to read it because the wording is actually uh it's reading that way so i'm not able to read backwards unfortunately I haven't learned that ability yet of reading backwards of you. No. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of silly that they're faced the wrong way. Um, you can just see the beautiful structure of the church itself. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm presuming that these headstones would obviously have come after uh, the church became abandoned. Erected by the Lady Margaret. Chartress. Chartress and... Some, and, uh, something of his friends to the memory of James John B. Roach, I think it is, who was for 40 years the something faithful land steward, steward of the Glen Gall family. family. Right, guys, so there's another connection. Grave Visitations has... A few videos on uh, Glen the Glen Galls, and this is another connection. Only this is one of their stewards. So it just seems Not the Glen Galls, but the Earl of Glen Gall. The Earl of Glen Gall. Uh, so this is like um, a whole circle that we have been finding over the last few days with this name. These, this here is the steward. I'm interested to know if we can read uh, Earl of Earl of. Glengall. Wow. To the memory of his faithful. Oh, we can't read it. Thank faithful. You. Something, something. Pierce. Oh, my God. There's a Pierce B. B I A. Uh, yeah, hold on. Um, native of France. France. Who departed this life. Um, November. November 1844. Just go back up to this. Age 52. P I Pierre Pierre, Pierre Vial. Vial. Wow. That's so another connection and I bet this also. I don't know why they are like this one on top of the other. This one we're not going to be able to read because it's it's just all behind the So they were the headstone. Yeah, I can see Glen Gall again. Memory of something something. Looks like Age 66. Oh, servant there again. I can see servant. Wow. So they were faithful to the family. Wow, that is fantastic. So you're going to have to watch uh, Grave Visitations channel as well to get the whole circle that we have been finding over the last two days here in Tipperary. It's been amazing. Um, so much history here in Care Town. Look at that beautiful window. Now, I have an interesting uh, little man here on the wall. Look at that. Now, notice the large ears. You did think that that meant... I've seen something written about that. We'll have to look that up. Now, maybe it's something on something else that meant something, but it does seem strange. He has quite prominent ears. A monk, is it? I don't know. We'll have to look it up. This looks like it was the water font just under that stone. I don't want to move the stone. It obviously has been uh, sealed for a reason. But under that stone, there would be just a little, um, almost like a sink, I suppose, where the water would come out. So it's either a font or where they washed their hands. Um, that's that beautiful window. It's actually stunning, that window is. But this place here, just look at that. How amazing. I actually don't know when this place started, when it began. Um, but
but we will have to see on further research if I can find that I'll put it up over the um, video itself so you come out then and you've got all these stones now to the eye right now they all look quite similar but believe me there's a couple in here that are absolutely amazing um, look at the writing here erected oh no Thomas Thomas Quinn Quinn it's very hard to read up here um, is there a date memory of his mother His mother. That's just the end of mother, I think. Quinn. Alias. Dial. The part of this life, is it the 18 or something there? 26 16. years, it looks like. Very hard to read. And with the sun the way it is right now. Yeah. Now, there's more writing just there. Exactly. Is that a date there where your torches go back today. down? 1718. Wow, 1718, guys. Um, looks like of David. And the rest then we can't, can't read it. But to me, this kind of looks like it could well be... Um, it's attached to the church. But it certainly looks like they could actually be buried right inside there. That is amazing. You can see the stonework. It's definitely big enough for maybe two coffins. That looks like it would have been a window, look. And a window ledge, maybe. Oh, look at this one. Prendergast. R.I.P. Woodenstown. That's all that's on that little cross. Prendergast. No dates. No first name. Prendergast would be the the surname. Wow, look at this. This is gorgeous here. That one is 1777. 1777, yeah. Yeah. Um, Cunningham. Cunningham. William Cunningham. Cunningham. 1777. And just, you'll notice there in the background, it's St. Paul's. Church of, Church of Ireland and there is an extremely interesting video uh, coming on Grave Visitations channel. If it's not already up before this one, you have to check it out and it will bring the full circle of... Uh, it will explain these headstones uh, Yeah, here. and the attachment to them. Now there's a plaque here. Um, Erectus to the memory of... What's this? It's like her husband her here, husband John. John. Something died. 18. 1873, aged 72. Two. So it's like a, a plaque or a memorial. We won't be able to get down that way now. There's an easier way around the other side, maybe. We'll go around the other way and do it. Um, I want to go around this side first. So, you can see on a number of these headstones we have the cross on them. That looks like medieval. It does look a bit medieval, yeah. I can see 1770 one on this one age 66 and 17 down at the bottom james Murphy. 17 51 at the bottom there so there's two people wife mary and james mary and james Murphy. so there's a lot of 1700s but we're in tipperary now so they are different to what we have found down around the southeast of ireland where we see jay burn these are mostly done by a different stone cutter or stone mason and i'm going to show you a few of the examples from up around here now it is absolutely freezing so you're going to have to forgive us we have already done several videos today um and as i said it's bitter cold so excuse the the breathing and the the sniffling now this is a beautiful headstone just look at that we have this gorgeous angel 
and this is like um, a ribbon and a bow on either side of it. Now, this is the lichen, or lichen as we call it here in Ireland, um, and it kind of just attaches itself to the headstone, makes it quite hard to read. But this says, erected by James O'Connor of Care, uh, to the memory of his, or of, yeah, father. of his father, Dennis O'Connor, who died the 26th of June, 1846 aged, I presume it's 63. There's also Bridget here. She was 60 when she died in 1853, maybe. That is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful story, huh? That is gorgeous. And just to our right, there's this headstone. It's a double headstone. We actually have a very recent wreath, Christmas wreath here. So somebody comes to visit. But this is unique. We have a beautiful angel on this side. We have a beautiful angel on this side. And here, this angel stands in the middle. And this is for... Um, looks like a William Kearney. William... Um Kearney, it's there. It's kind of reading across the whole headstone. M O R. Moroni. Moroni. Departed this life, life. June 60, sorry, 1768, age 36. Also, her husband who departed this life, 1770, age 70. Um, and also, their son Nicholas, 1799, age 76. On this side, then, it's Kearney. I think it's a. Uh, Margaret Kearney, uh, wife to James Moroni. So husband and wife on either side. I see 1769 here. And then also second wife. Oh, Bridget. Bridget. Cahill. Cahill, I would say that is. Uh, 1791, age 30. Six. 36, is so it? What age was his first wife? I can't. His first wife was... Um, It's down near the bottom, I think it was. Bridget, was it? Oh no, that was the... S Nicholas. Um, wife, Anne. Two, Anne. Anne. Will, Wallace, is there a Wallace, Willis? I think it is. So wife to William Moroni, who departed this life. So it says 17, she was... 1768, age 30, 56, 56, sorry. 56, and she was 36. Yeah, it's kind of a crossover. So husband and two wives. Maybe that's because we have the third. This is the wives on either side. And then the, um, just stop the torch for a second because it's flashing. Two wives and the husband possibly. That is beautiful. I haven't seen anything like that. I've seen these double headstones before. Um, but that's the first... Um, of you know the, the lovely angels so this one is 1760 this tiny little one and it's john dawson uh 1760 aged 43 here wow it's a tiny little headstone it's beautiful it said jack on it now. jack dawson yeah right so this one on the ground here is absolutely stunning it's the crucifixion scene like we have been seeing but done slightly different. It's come away from this part of the stone and it's fallen down, unfortunately. Now you can see there Jesus on the cross. We have the ladder. We have two angels on either side. We have the sun and the moon on either side. Now the reading is very hard because it kind of goes starts here we have some of the writing on this side and then some of the writing on this side i don't see a date here it just says in memory of thomas jackson by his son on this side i think it's like a poem or a verse another design on it here but on the little headstone right beside it, look at this guys, 
let's read it first and then we'll take a look oh actually there is no reading no inscription there. no inscription so hold on maybe it's a footstone for this beautiful one they're opposite each other so let's have a look at this one first this one is jesus on the cross look at the lichen guys we have white and like a gold we have two cherubs two chalices and then the writing by thomas jackson to the memory of his beloved daughter mary jackson who departed this life uh, the 9th of december 1832 um in the 20th year of her age oh she was very very young i hope you can see that the torch is not really helping now because it's just flashing but uh just there and just there and if we turn around just here on this footstone i believe this is we have another beautiful angel and a cross underneath and I do presume that that's what it is because um, there's no inscription on it. It's the same type of stone. It the... is, yeah. I think it is a f the footstone and the headstone. That there is a beautiful scene of the crucifixion. This is also Jackson. But because it's kind of broke in two, it just makes it extremely hard to read. Um, we have alarms going off there in the distance. 1817 on this one, John Cleary, who died 18... 1820, age 76. 76. And then there's a Catherine, alias Flood, September 19th, 1817, age 67. There is some sort of an inscription there. Actually, oh, look, at it. it is. Actually, we have the cross, we have the serpent, we have the sun and the moon and some chalices on either side as well. It is making it very hard to see those inscriptions, that lichen, but uh, they are stunning. Way off in the distance there, we can see that was an old jail. I'm not sure it's going to pick it up on the camera. Just uh, there. That was an old jail turned into... Um, a guest house. The family lives there. The son still lives there. It's absolutely Carrageen beautiful. Carrageen Castle. Wow, guys, look at this. Right here. So you remember our Jay Byrne and Dennis Cullen. This is, you know, stonemasons from this area. So Tipperary. Um, here we have the angel, the crucifixion. We have two angels. We have the ladder. We have the serpent, we have a skull and crossbones, we have the serpent, pliers, all the tools that were needed, uh, the chalice, another chalice here. These represent, these represent the is 20 pieces right. of silver and so this is all the crucifixion of our Lord once again here, slightly different than what we're used to down around our area but this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, quite hard to read now with this lichen again. Erected by the Reverend Pierce. Pierce. Oh, Mahoney, it's a. Or Pierce Maher. Maher. Maher, in memory of his wife. No, sorry, in memory of his mother. Um, something Maher as well, alias. Margaret. I'm not sure. Wife. Um, then it looks like Thomas Mar. It's obviously a list of Mars here. Mm, There's daughter. daughter there. Very hard to read with the lichen, isn't it? Very, very hard. Any date? 18 something. Aged 63, it looks like, for the last one. There's an 18 something down at the bottom there. 1851, it looks like. So... The really thick headstone. Yeah, this like is there. the Reverend then would have placed this for all his kind of his family. That is absolutely gorgeous. We have another one here. This is like a chalice. The writing is completely gone. But it's strange that, you know, different counties that we go to, 
the lichen is uh, different colors. Do you know, we have seen the orange lichen, which is here. We have seen white. We have seen kind of like a greeny blue. Um, so it's just interesting to see it, although it does make it extremely hard to read. You can see here just rows and rows of um, field stones or burial stones. So they would have been people who didn't have an awful lot of money to have a headstone, but are remembered instead by just a little stone. I do see a war grave here. Gunner, 1026116 Gunner P. Bingley, Royal Field Artillery, the 12th of May 1921. Gunner, doesn't say his age, but thank you for your service. And it's always nice to see those um, memorials scattered around Ireland as we travel as well. Look at that, the size of that little thing. Oh, look at no writing at all, is there? No, tiny little stone. This, I'm presuming, was um, some sort of tomb. It is completely broken in bits, completely in bits. I've never seen one quite as bad as that. This one has a little crown on it. And like a wreath, writing is almost completely gone. I see 1876 there. It looks like Hollard. Holland. Hollard, I think it is, is it? Holland. H-O-L-L-A-N-D, yeah? So is it... Holland. Is it William or is it W-H? I'm not sure. But I see 1876 there. But you can see the way it almost dissolves the headstones. So this is the side of what remains of this beautiful church. And we're really just kind of coming around. Look, it's, look, it's like the tree has pushed it up and off the, the legs of it. Like That looks like the leg of the tabletop tomb. That's the top of it. But that tree has come right up through it from what I can make out there. Yeah, it does look like that, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Look at that. Nature took over. Cheapers it did. Now let's just continue on. A few more headstones around this side. Real tin one up there. Look at that one. Sacred to the memory of Margaret Condon of Barrick Street. Hare, who died June the 10th, 1861, aged just 18. Also of her brother, who departed this life February the 19th, 1863, aged 25. Wow, two very Brothers young siblings there. This one has no writing either. Look at the style of it. Beautiful. So it's kind of bringing us right around to the edge here, back into the entrance of the church as we just turn around, see the beautiful mountains that surround uh, Care Town, that gorgeous Church of Ireland, very, very interesting story to that and uh, brings us into the church. Again. New rail in here. Yeah, it's like it's all the, the one, the gate. The gate yeah, yeah, it's obviously all the one family in there. But as I said, it's the writing, you know, goes from the bottom up or from the top down. So I can't read it, unfortunately. Tabletop tomb there. The writing just never really holds up but just look at that that is gorgeous and we have then the three headstones here with connection 
the Earls of Glengall. To the Earls of Glengall. Pretty amazing. You actually did find a grave in Wexford. Uh, an blessed style grave. And it said he was a steward. Yeah. A young uh, you know, we have read a few stones now um, of where the family have remembered the people that have worked for it, for them, be it, um, you know, kitchen staff or stewards or butlers, we found. Um, wow, look at this one. Erected by John Nolan in memory of his beloved mother who departed this life, November 1847, in the 46th year of her age. Rest in peace. The above John then passed in April 1887 aged 59 and his wife Johanna October 1900s aged 57 beautiful designs there look at that they are gorgeous and that lovely bell tower still standing and the little entrance then out right so guys that's it from Care Town, uh, we have had an amazing tour of the uh, castles, the cemeteries, the churches, lots of amazing history. We've kind of come full circle now with employees of uh, the Earl of Glengall in here as well. And you will know what we mean when you kind of look at Grey Visitations channel for upcoming videos. The video might actually be out before this one, but... Um, we actually adore Care Town. It's just so pretty. Care Castle just down below. I've put a short up of that. So if you want to check that up. Unfortunately, it was closed. Um, but for now, guys, if you like this content, please subscribe. It's free. Um, for more uploads, hit the notification uh, bell. That will let you know of future videos on this channel. And don't forget, as always, to give the videos a like. That helps uh, YouTube recognize the videos and push them out that little bit further. And we are growing as a beautiful community that we have as well, which is just fantastic. So if you're new, pop your name down below and tell us where you're from. But for now, guys, take care. God bless. See you guys. See you in the next one. And we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.